might just do another video to help with homeschooling anybody that's interested. This is a site, it is um, called Khan Academy and it and it's um, very interesting. It's got all these subjects on there, as you can see. There's obviously English, early maths, um, arithmetic, and algebra, geometry, and it tells you the grade they do it in, which is really good. It goes like any, it goes from K to third, fourth, and fifth, uh, down to high high school. They also do sciences and engineering, computing, arts and humanities. Econom economics and finance and test prep as well and I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that's actually on here which is really interesting you also go to Khan Academy which is this title here Khan Academy you have a dashboard for your site which is which is basically that's, that's this this is basically what you have to start with you, create your, you can create your own class also, there's manage students. If you are a class person, you want to manage manage students. Yeah. Sorry about that. My um, kettle was boiling. And I had to quickly pause it. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's there's also student progress. If you want to progress and check their progression through the time, it says create your first class, which I haven't got because I'm not a, um, I'm not a teacher exact. I'm my, my daughter does this. So basically we've got to go back to where we were. And then also you have skill progress, which is up there. It shows you if you've got anything on there, obviously. And there's a grid, which I don't really know what that is all about. But it's basically, it shows you what you need. Anyway, let's go back to the subjects for this and if you want to do say algebra you go onto the algebra site oh I must misclick I always keep misclicking even though it's a bit slow but yeah there's this is the topics that you'll get on algebra it says introduction to algebra which is there of functions and um, sequences and a lot quite a lot here and see descriptions if you need to, but then you'll go on to each subject. So let's click this one. Yay. And it gives you stuff to do. Orig origins of algebra, you tick on that. And it gives you usually a video or something. Can you click on the video? What I want to do in this video is think about the origins of algebra. So yeah, that's basically what it is. And you can basically go on to every subject there is on here which is quite a lot. It's basically overview of the history of algebra that goes down. Introduction of the variables, which is blah blah blah, and so forth and so forth. And it, you can do quite a lot on it if you go down the sidebars as well. This is quite a good site if you're teaching your kids or you're homeschooling. Um, you can go onto anything. I mean, I do, uh, me personally, I do the art history which is quite interesting and it tells you everything on here that you need to know it's basically art history basics blah blah and some basically other bits like videos and some of the videos are very long they're like three minutes seven minutes nearly eight minutes and stuff like that and you go on it a brief history on there another video and other little things and it's quite a lot on there and then you go on the table of contents and it gives you all this you click on each bit and there's and some of them do questions and things like that, so I thought I'd get that on the algebra. Now, if you want to do algebra, early math, okay, we do al early math. And it tells you basically what you need to do. So I should go on to counting. Maybe, no, actually do something within addition and subtracting, okay. And I've obviously done some of these myself with just me and my daughter go through it now and then. But you go through to the add in 7 plus 6, okay, you go on to that one, just the easy ones. And it gives you a video on how to add 7 plus 6. Let's think about what 7 plus 6 is. And I encourage you to pause this video and think about it on your own. So assuming you've given a go at it. 
this is kind of obviously based at the younger age, obviously, but it is very good. And and another thing which is good about this site, which is what I love about it, if you go into your your name when you've made your account. You get a profile and you add students, add children, you can add your own children to it. But profile, you go to your profile and it comes up with basically all this sort of thing. Now this is interesting because every time you do a subject or a little challenge or something, you get points. Now as you can see, my points, where are they? There they are. I got 16,537 points. Now you, what you do is you click onto your avatar, which I call it, and you can buy points, buy your avatar. So this one, it costs 10,000 points, so you can buy it, which makes it more fun. And you earn badges as well, so if you click off that, basically if you say, look at all avatars, it shows you which ones you can buy. So there's a close-up of all of them. And you get little robots and tells you how much the points. 50,000 for that one. Um, and they're so cute. Some of them are so cute. And you have to unlock them, obviously, doing the challenges in, in the thingy. So let's just go back. And you also can earn badges, which is showcase all the badges. And it says here, two years ago. I joined two years ago. Obviously, now I've got 16,537 points. Um, I've watched five minutes of the difference between art and craft and it shows you all the sort of badges that you can earn badge counts I've got not very many because I'm not doing this I'm just my daughter does this and she does it all the time she's actually learning to do um, what's it called coding and programming at the moment on this site so yeah so you can write your profile about who you are and what your thing is points, all the things you can earn for this place and everything else. So I thought I'd just do a quick video on it. This isn't supposed to be a big one but I thought this would be so handy for homeschooling. Um, my, my daughter, she's 13 and she loves this and she's earned more points than me have, <laughs> more points than me now. But it basically you can do, in the age obviously you need to do it too, obviously you just go on to whatever subject or say third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth, seventh, eighth or even high school. So you click on high school if you've got high school children and it tells you algebra one, high school geometry and all the subjects in maths that you need to do and it also gives you videos but, and um, basically again you still earn points from everything you do and whatever you watch, all the completed challenges you have to do or missions. So yeah I thought this was a good idea to put this on to YouTube. So there's another list of all the subjects if you're willing. Just make an account on just writing Khan Academy at, on your Google search. And it's I think it's a really good site. My daughter is actually doing the computer programming and um, animation coding and stuff like that at the moment on this. So it gives you just a brief thing if they like it, an hour of code. So yeah, if they like it, then they can take it further when they go to college. They'll know all a bit, a little bit about it. But yeah, and cos cosmology and all those sort of things, and chemistry, obviously the proper ones. So it's just basically a helpful um, place to go if you need a little bit of help. If you're stuck on algebra and you can't explain it, then go to this site. They will explain it for you in a simpler manner and draw it on a board for you, like the, the videos there. They draw it on a computer screen. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you that, and it's Khan Academy. I hope it's good for everybody. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.